Hello, how's it going? So Tire here. Welcome to part 24 of my Romus Erectum 3 Let's Play campaign as the seller said, Empire. Uh, now, we finished off in the last episode with a, a battle in Babylonia here, just west of Opus near the Euphrates River. We had uh, Philippus lead an army and defeat um, a raiding party of brigands. And I'm pretty certain we'll have a, a battle a bit quicker in this episode. Um, after the end turn, this uh, garrison here is under siege uh, at Karkathiath Kerta. Uh, we'll sally out and um, take on Aristarchus, his leading our army. But before I hit that end turn, there is a couple of details I want to attend to. Um, first of all, we'll get the background script up and running. And then I want to sort out these two armies here ready for the invasion of Asia, uh, Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia Minor. Um, we've got our leader here, Antiochus III, and he's going to... Basically, I'm going to use his army to fight field battles and the other army... Uh, we've got Eumenes there at the minute, but um, I don't really fancy him leading this um, army with a com with no command stars. I want to get a better uh, general for him, I think. Um, he's got this retinue, which is minus one to morale for all troops, although it gives a uh, plus one to public health and improves the chances of casualties recovering from their wounds. He'd probably be better as a governor. I mean, he could lead it. It's not that big a deal, but we've got two other um, possibilities here in Antiochia. Uh, not a here. He's the regional gover governor. <coughs> Excuse me. We've got Seleucus, one-star command. But he's a free leader, so uh, that affects his hit points. And we've got Antiochus, who I was say, well, is he a family member? He is, isn't he? Let's just check that. Yeah, he's the son of our leader, so historically he's going to be Antiochus IV, isn't he? Although we're not playing historically, of course, I'm reshaping the, the actual history as per the challenge that was given to me. Um, but we'll play along with this here to keep the bloodline going. We'll make him the heir. He's got um, two stars of command, so that's a bit better. So I think we'll send him. Wait, he's usually 17. And his brother, Seleucius. We can make him a governor. We're going to go after Mazaka first, I would think. So what we'll do is I'll we'll put them to into lead this army, just put him up there for now. We'll send Eumenes uh, along with uh, Antiochus for now. I think we'll send the elephants with the siege army. We've got that and stone thrower coming quite soon, haven't we? Two turns. But we'll keep the two armies quite close to one another because a lot of the settlements here, <coughs> excuse me, um, you know, they're going to have stone walls, I would think. I don't know which ones, of course. Well, here we are here, Amasia, the capital, so we'll need the stone thrower for that. Uh, Mazaka's got wooden walls. There'll be others that have probably got either a palisade wooden wall. And as we get into Asia Minor, we're bound to come across stone walls there. So um, I'll send the elephants because we're going to attack Mazaka first. And then... Uh, what else will I give him? Try to think. Yeah, we'll give him these three units of levy pipes. Again, we can use them as um, garrison after we take settle the settlement. Uh, we'll also send these Macaria for Roy. 
Ethelac toys. You got any more? Yes, you got another one here. Oh, there we go. Yes, got another one there as well. And on to here. Okay, and then we'll give them the Macaria for Roy. These are all swordsmen. They'll be of here. We got another two. They'll be more useful. Uh, I would think. When it comes to stone walls, anyway, when you get them up onto the battlements. Um, what else should I send here? For this army. Three or for Roy. Yeah, we'll send all three of these units of three or for Roy. Got another one in here? No. Another one in here? Ah, oh, here we go. We'll take one from Tartarus. There we are, and then we'll give them, what else can we get them? A unit of archers and a unit of um, slingers. Yeah, that's a pretty decent army. We'll just send them up there and sit them on that crossing there. Okay, now then. Take these guys. Just take him out for a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. Argue with speedies, definitely. Put you back in again. Just keep it organised, I know what I'm doing. It's pretty cool. And then we'll get these two units. We've got the stone thrower to add to that as well. And then we've got more Pesetter up. No, I won't send two more. There's five units of Phalangites there, but that'll be enough. And then we'll just uh, start getting them some other troops. What am I recruiting here? And we'll go put them back, and I think we'll get them another unit of... Uh, Heavy Peltas. Got one here, haven't we? Just put them in Move there for now. And. Maybe get them a couple of units. These Thoracitize. I want a really strong um, field army. Okay, I think that'll do for now. We'll probably get them. Some Syrian archers as well. And then once this army is completed, I'll start recruiting another one. Uh, I think I maybe need to go over here and help these boys out, strengthen this army a bit. Although we've got a fair amount of troops over here. Maybe just merge some. We've got some elephants there as well. So yeah, it will look as if we're pretty okay. But I, I still will need another army. Uh, I think that'll do for now in this region in Syria and uh, let's just move back down into Egypt there's a few things we want to do here um, first of all we want to uh, they got movement now yes, yeah we can get these guys back into uh, their respective settlements My Lord. I think we'll send the Move archers there and the cavalry back to Thebas and we'll put the rest in here for now get them retrained don't think we need to recruit anymore and uh, right now we've got um, what governors have we got? Perdicas we're sending him to Thebas and then we'll send him on to Elephantine uh, once we get another <coughs> governor up here, what have we got in here? Oh yeah, but this guy here. Can he reach? I don't know if he can reach the bus. So put him in Alexandra. Yeah, he can. Yeah, sorry, Memphis. He can reach Memphis, that's good. Then we'll send him. If he can reach the Elephantine, we'll send him all the way down. 
I'd also just send him and then I'll put uh, a palace in, into Thebas. Right then, <laughs> glad we got that sorted. Uh, our spy, again, let's just check right along this border here. Can't see in at the minute, put back into our territory for now. Nothing occurring there. Right, we've got Demetrius there, you just need to hang fire for now. We've got ourselves another general, so we'll send him up to join Demetrius. Our ships, and get any movement left. They haven't got any movement left. I think that's... I think that covers just about everything for now. Uh, I would like to get a spy into Cappadocia. Uh, but I can't really recruit one. We're, build, uh, we're, recruit, we're building that stone for two tons. As long as does it take for a spy to be recruited? Should just be one ton, I think, yeah. Alright, we'll get him done, I think, after this um, stone thrower's done. Let's put him in line so I don't forget. Right, I think that just about covers everything so far. Uh, just check the regions. Any just check for any brigands that are about. Got a spy up here. We looked at these already, I think, didn't we? Yeah. Look at the horse archers I've got. And noble cavalry, look. Cheers on. Yeah, alright, yeah. So I know what I've got to do up there. Let's uh, bring them back down to see if there's any, anybody else lingering about. There's still quite a good garrison in there, look at this. Alright, there's a fair bit to think about then, uh, as we move on. Right, um, let's hit that end turn I think then. Uh, our bell is okay. Oh yeah, let's just check. Yeah, we're still recruiting in there. Might as well put them in and get them retrained if there's room. There we go. We'll make use of them. Right. End turn. Now this guy garrison should sally out now. There we go. Okay. So there's little bits of experience there, no upgrades. They look they've lost a few because of the, a few troops from each um, unit because of the siege. All right, let's get this done. Send them over there. Uh, right, let's get them forward as quick as we can. Oh, wait a minute, we're not going to make it, I don't think. Here, get you off fire at will. Get you these off fire at will as well. Oh 
good. They're running back now. How come we'll, we've lost a few, lost a few men there by the looks of it? Let's get up there. Run them up. Come on, boys. Quick as you can. Down. Okay, get them down. Who's the Theraka time? Two units of the Theria for Roy, get them over here. As quick as possible, where's the archers? Let's get them over there as well. Elephants, bring them down there. General, keep them near the middle somewhere. Uh, unit of Saka, get them over here. Protect the elephants. Okay. Those Greek pelters. We'll bring them. Uh, put one here, I think. What's this here? Cappadocian missile cavalry can't quite reach them. the archers. Oh, yeah, they can. That's good. Let's put that unit on fire at will. Let's bring them forward a little bit, I think. Right. Let's squeeze them, boys. Try to get the right line. That's it. Let's just move them forward. We'll squeeze them in there. Let's get that cavalry unit up here. Yeah, you keep firing it then. You get yourself up there. You bring yourself over there. Boys down there. There's Peltas in behind. It's Greek heavy. Peltas. Just let our archers keep taking them out. How are we doing down here? That's good. They're charging straight into our pikes. This is good. Bring you there. Where's that other unit? Bring you there. This cavalry unit here. Generals. Where's my general? Get over there. Bring the elephants down there. Put them on fire at will. Take them out. Get the elephants down here. There you go, general. Charging, charging everywhere the enemy, aren't they? Flanking both sides. That's the, uh, that's that Cinehit's, um, sub mod for the AI battle formations that does that, you know. It's the only one I think that does it, actually. Don't know another one that does it. Alright. Where's my other cavalry units? Where's my general? The cat flags. Oh, there goes the old general. Great. General Let's get He's you two over there. Get our second in command general across. 
Okay. Right, let's take you to here. That's good. Let's bring you forward towards them. Bring you down here. That's great. Let's get a sacker over there as quickly as possible. They're done. Here, come on, lads. Quick, 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 you get up there. Yep, that's it, go in the manual. Right. Yes, that was a nice little chance. See if you can get that, catch that gate. Chance. Ho ho ho! Cracker, are they? Ah, they're routing. It's great. And we've got in the gate, have we? Did they get in? Oh, brilliant. There you go, boys. Excellent. is in the gate. Now we've just got to finish this lot off. Bring you down here. Get our general back into action if I go all about him. Silly me. General, we're here. Are they back far enough? Let's get you charging into these guys here. Jenner's lost a few men now. How do you manage to do that? It's only a route as you're chasing after there. Go get him, boy. Ah, oh, the crack of the tower shooting us. I thought because we took the gates, they wouldn't be shooting us. There's some more for you. Let's just finish them off. Right, we've got some in the settlement, haven't we? What are these? Okay. Are they okay? They're warmed up. Lift their pikes. Let's bring these guys down as well. They can run down to there. How are we doing here? Okay. 
can. No, they can escape now. Get them. Oh, no, they can't run. Let's go on back a bit. Oh, that's why there's still a couple stuck in that melee there. Right, it's all finished. You can, go, you can go and get him. Finish them off. Can lift all their pipes and we can move them out now. Here. I don't think there's any more to fight, is there? Just those in the uh, finish them off, General. Okay. Let's see, were they towers shooting at these guys or they shooting at us? They're shooting at my general. I thought we had control of that. Get them. No, pathfinding again. Not to worry. Out here. They're only warmed up, they'll be fine. Up to there. Avoid that tower. Maybe. Up the top there. Final charge, maybe. Cool unit, these pets out of all, you know, don't you think? People are watching. Let's get this little uh, collection sorted here then. Finish off these uh, couple here. Go get them, boys. It's only two of the poor buggers, look. Yeah, my shot. God be praised! The enemy's hearts are full of fear, and now they flee. Right. So uh, there must be some more routers somewhere. This is a heroic victory. Yeah, as is a general there. Yeah. Finish them all off. Oh, yeah, well, that was uh, that was fine. <laughs> almost ninety men. Got my tactics right there. I decided to attack them rather than sally. Most people maybe sit back and wait for the enemy to sally out and then just fight from a defensive position but I had the numbers I thought well let's just get forward and attack them before they can start doing too much damage to us because I know like I say that uh, the, the Cinehits um, AI formation sub mod that I use battle formation uh, is the, the best one of the three 
that's in the launcher on this um, mod and I recommend it to anybody because I think it's, it's the best uh, AI battle formation I think I've ever seen in any any Rome 1 mods it just seems to work really well most of the time no you still get the odd suicide uh, general charge but not very often you get the odd time when there's two or three units attack here and there but it does flank and try to get around the back of your line which I think is uh, is pretty good because not a lot of the other battle AI battle formations do that but only to lose 90 men that was I would say basically down to the tactics I used there I would think well I'll say that I would say that wouldn't I take the credit we had done it <laughs> And uh, I think we'll occupy this. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, well, I'm going to occupy it. And then quell the public disorder, I think. Any yeah, public disorder that comes my way. There we are. Some more brigands there. I'm getting an army close to them, oh, that's a thing. Okay, so that's us taking Kakatha or Kata. Let's see how I can get this under control now. Right, medium tax dropped, that's 65%. We get rid of this um, military, military training facility. I think that should take us over 70. 75. Okay, and then we'll get a shrine to Zeus in there straight away. Um, I might just leave Zeus as the uh, governor there because he's got decent management and decent influence and that's going to be important. And getting public order under control. We'll also get reasonable focus set in there as well. And then we get a decent population, just under 10,000. So we'll soon be able to build it up. I'll put the successor colony in the queue as well. And then I can sort of forget that for a few turns. Right, all good, good. There we go, we'll get away with that I think for a while. Right then, diplomatic information. Uh, Cimbri and Rome, our allies, Ptolemaics and Parthia. How the hell did they manage that? Get an alliance. <laughs> Miles apart, aren't they? The Boai and Gallica, Galli said nothing to do with me. I'm interested in them. Come back to the recruitment shortly. Construction. Okay. Right, what are we going to start building now? Public orders at 120, which is good. Uh, but again, we can improve on that. But I think... Let's just check him out. He's got good management, but he ain't got a lot of um, influence. Uh, no, I can't quite remember how you get them in Flint's. Um, I think I'm going to put a... Temple of Zeus in there. Get that public order sorted then we'll concentrate on the economy after that. Population growth is at 0%, so that's handy. I think there's a cap on this and it doesn't go into uh, a <coughs> oh, uh, disorder, what's the squalor, 10.5, squalor's at 100 percent, see I think once it reaches that I don't think anything gets worse, I'm, I'm never quite sure how this works. Public health. Yeah, I think we better go with that. Eh? There's a score is at 100%. Public health 50%. Bonus. Yep, go with that. Got that sorted. Went to Damascus. Public order's good. Drop the taxes there. Don't really need military training there. 
we want uh, what's the score like here okay we want to make money put that in a thing like batana drop the taxes there I think and I think I'll build hmm what have we got? What troops have we got here already? So the militia training, yeah, I'm going to build that. Istica, we're building something there already. Tabby, public orders 110. You train these guys. Down in the office, public order, again drop the taxes there, fortified region, I think I better put a temple in there as well, that public order, make sure it's sound for later, population's rising there, Arbella, Drop the taxes there. That's okay. Scores fine. Well, here we go. Fortified or economic, I think we'll go there. Yeah, economic. Persepolis. That's an economic region as well. So we'll get the oh let's get some roads there. Memphis. Regional focus. Sort of money we got. Alright, economic in Memphis as well. Public order can hold for now. Thebas, run out of money. <laughs> Let's get some roads in Thebas. Improve the taxes a little bit. Bit of a successor colony. Improve our culture. Paphos. Okay, open pit mines there. City population growth there, I think. Drop the taxes. And finally, Halicarnassus. Drop the taxes there and put in a shrine to Zeus. I think that covers just about everything. Again, we're picking up some good um, retinues here. There we go. Happy with that. Most advanced nation is us. And your turn report don't matter. I know where I am with it. Okay. So we've got a bit of movement left with our fleet. Oh, what's this? I hope they haven't landed any troops here. Um, I won't worry about them just now. Right, what we got here? Ptolemy Navy, anybody on board? No. Still going to sink them, though. And the Ptolemaics have landed, this is what I was talking about, you know, but sometimes it's the Spartans, sometimes it's the Ptolemaics. But I'm going to sink the ship so they can't get off. They don't get anybody on board there. Attack! Which is great. Now then, oh look, here's another army of uh, Greeks. Ah, 
just um, that line caught me out then because I thought that's all there was. Never really looked properly, that was my fault. I thought that's a laser arm and I might take that and then I can take that island from them without going to war with the Greek city states. So that's bollocks that then. <laughs> all right, I'll finish it there. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks again to all of you that subscribe to me and follow me and support me. It's brilliant. Thanks very much, like I said. And I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.